Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are we're still in the book of Deuteronomy, very important book and beautiful book with lessons. As I told you, the the mentioned in the in the in the past last week, uh, um, Deuteronomy means the second law. It's be- because Moses is is repeating, uh, reinforcing the laws. It's a people walk. 40 years in the desert. Now Moses is a, they are the, at the edge of the promised land, and then Moses make this his final speeches uh, to the people, and he is reminding them what they need to understand, what is important for them to do, how they should live, and how sh- they should worship, and all that kind of thing. So he is trying to uh, to reinforce the law to them. So he, he repeat the law again. This is why we have the second law, the name. Of the book because uh, he repeats the, the the law again and today we're going to see a very interesting verse that is connected with the verse from yesterday is uh, Deuteronomy 16 verse 19 it's a word to the judges and we are facing everywhere we're facing Brazil we're facing here we're facing the word everywhere problem with the judicial system. It's very important for us to understand what the word says about the judge. Look at 16 verse 19. Do not pervert justice or show partiality. Ouch. Do not accept a bribe for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twists the words of the righteous. Wow. And he and he goes on talking about the judge. I, I just read one verse, but it's it's the it's the judge the judge that pervert justice and show partiality and accepts bribes. Unfortunately Israel did not hear that and they pay a high price for that and all the judges everyone that has the power to make decisions and to judge what is wrong what is right no matter if you are a real judge or just a boss that you have or or director or someone a staff a very important staff that you have the power to make decisions so this is how it goes this is how we do things this is you are right and you're wrong you're fired you're hired or whatever it applies to everyone that has that kind of position. It says, look, you cannot do those things. You cannot pervert justice. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. And we have a pretty good idea what is right and what is wrong. And we know, and people know when they are doing the wrong thing. They know. The problem is, it's the the greed, sometimes, the greed not only for money, the greed for position, for importance, it speaks louder than what is right and what is wrong. And they take that, that route. And it's a very important for all of us to understand that, that we should not do that. We should not pervert justice. What is right is right, what is wrong is wrong. And don't say that what is right is wrong and what is wrong is right. It, this is to pervert justice. Do not show partiality just because you like a person, don't like a person. The person is rich, a person looks better, whatever, and you're going to treat that person in a different way by the look. That person doesn't look. And we're facing this. We're we were facing this and that is the complaint of the racial situation that we're facing in the whole world. This is because it's the color, it's the accent. It's how the person dress and we judge the person about that. Don't do that. Don't show partiality and do not receive bribe. We're seeing this uh, and all over the place in politics man it's so sad to see that 
people doing all those three things. And sometimes we complain about them, and in our little world, we do the same thing. So we should be careful that uh, we cannot accept them, what they do, how they behave, but we should be careful how we treat other people. So we will not be condemned by our own words and say, they are wrong, but I, I do the same thing that they do. So don't do those three, three things. Uh, and, and that's very important and very powerful in our personal life or relationship, how we deal with people. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.